Hey guys, welcome to your seventh Java game development tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching. I'm going to be teaching you about threads. Now, what a thread is is <clears throat> it's a piece of code um, inside a method that will run. Um, will run when you tell it to. And the most important thing about threads is that they can all run at the same time, which um, allows incredibly smooth gameplay, especially if you're building a large and complex game or program. Um, and I'll be showing you about telling you how to run your thread uh, later, but for now we're going to need to update our methods for moving because we want to use threads to move our ball to allow better control over speed and to make it look generally better. So to start off we're going to remove these ones that we've already done. Um, I'll pause the video. Okay, once you've deleted those, um, copy and paste all of that and put it into the key released method because we're going to need to implement key release this time. Um, then we're going to need two more variables uh, called x direction and y direction. And now we need uh, three more methods. We need public void move. And this is going to equal x s x add on to x the x direction and add on to y the y direction and now what the y and x direction will be we're going to make methods to set them uh, x there will equal either 1 or minus 1 or 0 0 will be stationary minus 1 will be moving in the case of x left and plus 1 will be moving right and in the case of y minus 1 will be up and plus one will be down. Uh, now we need to make methods to set these values. So public void. I'm just going to say set x dir direction, and then we need an int x direction, and then x direction equals x direction, and then set oops public void set y direction. I'm just going to make that looks neater. Int y direction. y direction equals y. Now there we go. Now when we, we're going to set, what we're going to do is when the user presses a key we're going to set the x and y direction or depending on whether it's left, right, up or down and then in our run method we're going to call move. Uh, we'll do the run method in a minute but for now um, we're going to need to say uh, when you press left set x direction to minus 1 because it's moving towards the x-axis towards 0 on the x-axis and then we want to set x direction for this as well to be plus 1 and then set y direction um, up will be minus 1 because um, remember the y axis starts at the top and then set y direction to be plus 1. There we go. And now in our key released we now need to say to set the x direction to 0 because otherwise because if we just set this and didn't handle when the key was released they would press the left arrow key x would become equal to minus 1, set x direction would become equal to minus 1 and then it would carry on going and it wouldn't ever stop because it would never equal 0 again so we're just setting these to avoid that confusion and they all equal 0 because that equals that means it's not moving and then in our public void move we're just gonna handle basic collision detection again so if x less than or equal to 0 then x equals 0 if x is greater than or equal to 200 because the size of the smiley face is uh, 50 and our screen size is 250 so we minus that way x equals 200 if y is less than or equal to 0 um, hmm, less than or equal to 50 that's right I think and y equals 50 and then if y is greater than or equal to 250 and y equals 250. I think those are right. It might move off the screen 
by accident at some points. Alright, but now we've got this done, we now need to implement our run method. And this is where the threads come in. First of all, we need to implement in our in our class, we need to implement runnable. <coughs> and now what that means is is that now this method is runnable and we can call the run the run method and make turn it into a thread. Public void run, it takes no parameters. And in our run method we need a try and a catch. And what try and catch does is it literally means alright, try this and if it doesn't work, catch the errors and do something. So in our catch we're gonna write system out print line and just say error. Error. Um but hopefully that won't happen because I'm not planning to mess this up. Exception E is the parameter for catch. And now in our try we need to create an infinite while loop. But we are gonna control how fast it runs because an infinite while loop will run as fast as your computer can manage. But using a special um thing called thread sleep, we can tell the we can tell the run method to stop for an amount of time and then run the loop again. Uh so first of all, we're going to write move. So constantly it will be uh, checking for move, constantly it will be doing this, setting the uh, x equal to the x and y equal to the y direction uh, using these. Uh, I'll explain it all fully at the end, uh, it might sound a bit confusing now. Um, but then we're going to want to say thread dot sleep and now there's a thousand milliseconds in a second so how often do we want our um, face to move one pixel along. So I'm going to say 5 milliseconds. Uh, that seems like a decent enough speed. Um, and then the last thing we need to do is we need to start our thread. So we come down to our main method and I'm going to make a comment saying threads. And to start a thread it's really easy. It's just like a normal variable or an object. Thread t1 well, t1 is the name of the thread, I'm just calling it t1, equals new thread, and there's no parameters since it's located in this file. If it were in another file, you would need to state where it was in there, state the object, and then you simply write t1.start. And that should be it. If we run our method now, if we run our game now, we can see... Ah, oh, sorry, I realized a problem, guys, I paused the video. Um, here, where before we had just new Java game, we're going to need to create a new object of it, so just write Java game and call it whatever, jg equals new Java game, and then when we declare our thread, we need to say jg. Um, and then if we run this now, we can see that our face is moving nice and smoothly. Um, whichever way we want it to, we're pressing the keys and as you can see I got the collision detection a bit wrong got it the wrong way around with the Y. Uh, in fact I'll pause it quickly so it should look like this, it should be if Y equals is less than or equal to 0, Y equals 0 and if it's greater than or equal to 200, Y equals 200. Now if we run this we can move our ball nice and smoothly around our screen uh, and we can move it diagon we can move it diagonally because uh threads allow uh threads can run multiple things at the same time that's the beauty of them rather than the previous ones rather than the way we did it before where we could only move up down left to right at once and um we can change the speed of the movement simply by making the speed the thread sleep less so if i make this one then our face is going to move crazy fast around the screen. But if I make it, say, 10, then it's going to sleep for 10 milliseconds every time, which is going to make the speed a lot slower. So yeah, that, those are threads. They're quite complex to grasp at first, but um, when use, using them in games is absolutely essential, so I'm glad I gave you this lesson, uh, and we'll be going more into threads. Um, how you can control them and how you can control your game with them. Uh, but that's all for now. Remember to subscribe and uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.